it's fantastic that we're looking at culture, particularly now after a couple of years in the pandemic and working a little bit differently. I kind of define culture as the way we get things done in organizations, but it's also our behaviors and how we create the environment in which people flourish. If you think about the values of Adobe, we're about you know being genuine, being exceptional, being innovative and being involved. And our founder said very early on that great ideas come from everywhere in the corporation. And so what that means from a collaboration perspective is we've got to go deep and wide in our organization to connect people. And that all starts with the individual. And so uh, culture is really critical, not only now, but it has always been. When I think about um, getting back to basic, I, I kind of put this into a couple of categories. The first thing in back to basics is really around our leadership. And so you've talked about play and productivity. The thing about leadership and getting back to basics and actually moving forward in this new world of work is moving from this kind of observation-based leadership, I mean, in other words, I see you and I know you did it, to outcomes-based leadership, where we come to agreements. I mean, you see it all over the place where people are talking about OKRs and how do we set goals at the top of the organization all the way down. Those are things that have been visible in my career for a long time. But how do we help people, um, you know, perform when we're just talking about expectations and outcomes? And I think that's where we need to measure uh, things a little bit differently. We need to get back to basics in terms of automation um, and freeing up people to do uh, the higher level work or what I call tapping into the human brilliance. And uh, those are some basic things. Um, when I think about where Adobe is going with the future of work, we want to basically be digital first. We want to be hybrid. We want to be flexible. And in my mind, there's, you know, there's multiple things that are at play. The center of that is a person's well-being, thinking about things like synchronous and asynchronous work. How do you onboard people when everybody is distributed across? Is there going to be an equitable experience between those people we onboard in real life versus those people we onboard virtually? How do we raise the dexterity of digital in the enterprise? Uh, exchange knowledge in a way that we're uplifting knowledge together and possibly creating that knowledge together. And then how do we innovate? So those are some, you know, quote unquote basics, but I think they're fundamentals that we need to recreate for a future that will help us accelerate in this digital hybrid world. So Adobe, for those who may not know, um, is more than Photoshop. We have three clouds. Uh, we have the experience cloud, which is all about creating those digital experiences that you experience either physically in person with digital screens or digitally through websites. And we have the document cloud, which is all about how do we manage and look at document workflows, and that includes signing documents in the enterprise. And then we have the creative cloud. That's where those beautiful legacy products of ours exist, uh, Photoshop and all the creative products. So if you look at, at that across what employees experience in their kind of hire to alumni experience, you can use many of these products all the way across. We use AEM, which is a part of the Experience Cloud, for our intranet to communicate with employees and create knowledge and content uh, that delivers the messages, policies, and processes that employees need to know. We also use things like the Document Cloud to do document workflows. That could be anything from legal documents to our onboarding processes, where you can flow these documents to the enterprise. You can actually digitally sign these documents and automate those processes so you get a lot of the toil out of that. And we also use our beautiful design products and creative products to create the experiences that you might have either at Summit or any of our large events like Max or even in a retail type of shop. 
where you see digital covers of magazines, uh, movies made, etc. So Adobe products are across multiple experiences in the enterprise. And that links back to those back to basics. How do we collaborate? How do we innovate? How do we be productive from anywhere? Artificial intelligence has been around for a little while. I think we're getting smarter with artificial intelligence. And one of the ways that we can help with the experience with our employees is to hear all those voices in the room, is start to look at analytics on how we are actually doing the work that we're doing. We don't want to get creepy. We don't want to breach anything around personal, um, you know, PII data or anything like that. But we do want to understand at an aggregate level, or at least at the persona level, how people are actually working in the environment so that we can understand that happy path and the divergent path to create a more productive uh, a world. We also want to understand how people are interacting with the data that we provide uh, to make sure that that knowledge and information is not only findable by surfacing it through algorithms, but relevant and useful. So how would it be if you could, you know, kind of monitor and get some votes on, you know, the knowledge you have across the enterprise and get those voices heard to say, you know what, I need you to improve this or modify that or turn the dial on X. Those types of things really help us have the intelligence to improve not only the outcomes from a business perspective, but the experience for our employees. There is no other you know, product that's more used in Microsoft for employee productivity. If we're talking about email, uh, even some people are using Teams, a very large footprint of Teams across the enterprise, to the endpoint devices that Microsoft is using. And so what we've decided as a part of our digital workplace strategy is we want to meet the employees where they are. So if you are in, for example, email, and you wanted to create a PDF, we'd integrate that process right where you are, right in email. If you want to come into Teams and you want to do some document exchange or sign a document, you can be right in Teams in a meeting like this one and actually review documents together, create document automation, those types of things. This, this kind of helps the employee stop the context switching. We know that this can, you know, this kind of environment can be quite intense for all of us, a, a huge cognitive load. So if we're able to meet people where we are, um, we're able to lift that load and have them be able to complete tasks in a, in a more simplified way. So partnerships like Microsoft are super critical. 